funny bit of news that just uh, rolled out on my timeline, actually, that I thought was hilarious. Okay, so, number two. You know what? Number one, right? Because this, this headline's at the top here. Look at this headline from Cosmopolitan. Chloe Kardashian responds to those rumours about her new face. Rumours? It's weird, isn't it, that we live in this world where somehow... You can see something and then you're, it's like an elephant, especially plastic surgery. We all know that these girls get bodies, they get their bodies done, get their faces done. It's a known thing, right? We know that, you know, especially maybe it's to the, maybe it's as a consequence to the rise of like healthy skincare regimes, regimes of, you know, videos of people, especially those girls from like South Korea that really popularize the fact that, you know, they, they apply fucking a million ointments to their skin that we've had this really um, in-depth look at what it takes to have that kind of glowing, uh, um, natural-looking skin colour or skin, you know, con conditioning, whatever it may be, right, with celebrities. We, we see it now on the interwebs. A girl would upload a vlog of her going, you know, doing her daily routine, whether it's in the morning and to the night. So maybe that's maybe, maybe that's allowed more of those Insta-body girls to be a bit more transparent about their procedures. But we all know what's going on. We're all, no one's under the assumption or under the illusion that these girls all come out of the womb with the same body, with the same kind of voluptuousness, um, the same sort of increase in asset sizes. It doesn't make sense, does it? We all know there's something fishy going on there. They know, we know. It's a silent kind of um, understanding. But sometimes it does happen where... I guess there's there's a segment, certain segment of the celebrity population that still has that kind of like old school Hollywood thing where you don't say things, you don't respond to rumors, um, even though, you know, it's plainly obvious that you've got your nose done or you've got your boobs done. And instead, you hope that if you ignore it long enough, everyone's going to ignore it. But unfortunately, especially when it comes to these enhancements on women, which again, I'm not really a fan of commentating on women's bodies, but when women enhance things on their bodies, it's usually because they want to, it's usually something that they're kind of proud of enhancing because they want to show it off more, right? It's usually an asset that they want to, yeah, show off on a, you know, on a bigger scale or maybe kind of give it the, the, the platform it deserves, right? That's, that's mostly what happens, right? You usually, if you're a girl and you, you know you have good legs, you usually extend, extend, extensuate your legs by wearing tighter jeans, shorter skirts, standard thing. So it's okay, right? That's that's fine. But once you have, the, like, it's okay to compliment the asset and say, oh, wow, you've got really good features, wherever they may be, because you know you have them because you're accentuating them. But then when you get a job, when you get something done, cosmetically, under the knife, you somehow have to, like, there's this, there's this thing where you are not allowed to say anything. You can't question it. And now what? She responds to the rumors by saying what? What can you, what can she legitimately say about that picture that she posted online? Chloe Kardashian. What can you legitimately say about it? You can't say what? You're going to say that you've, you know, it's your diet and your skincare regime and the fact that you've got a child that you suddenly gained a new face. Like, it doesn't work like that, does it? No man of makeup is going to turn you into a whole different person. I wouldn't imagine so, right? Um, but who knows? Who knows? I would actually like to see what the actual article says on the, on the matter. But first things first, this story I thought was really funny. This is from Cosmopolitan. It says, Travis Scott secretly dated Rihanna before Kylie Jenner and was pissed when the news got out, right? Which is really LOL because if ever there was an example that Rihanna has real big dick energy, this is it. So the story goes as following. It says, hello, hi. Did you know that Travis Scott was dating Rihanna before he got together with Kylie Jenner? No, I did not because I'm not a chatty patty, right? But it says here, it says the juicy nugget of info was made public way back in 2015 and Travis Scott was not thrilled, at least according to the throwing fits co-host Lauren Sloshman. I'm assuming that's the guy from Grilled, right? It says, as per Us Weekly, Sloshman was chatting to his fellow podcaster, James Harris. It's crazy how this nude gets out. I guess because we're all in lockdown. Somehow... Um, throughout the inter interweb or podcasting landscape, somebody from Us Weekly was listening to, uh, I think, a, a specifically streetwear or fashion-based menswear podcast. They mentioned Travis Scott and Rihanna and it suddenly got to Us Weekly and that's on Cosmopolitan. Because we're in lockdown. See, everyone's bored. No one's got nothing to do and people are getting involved in people's business. Madness. So, it says Slosh Sloshman was chatting to fellow podcaster James Harris and journalist Jonah Weiner about or Weiner Weiner have you pronounced that about the experience of celebs hating something they'd written and Sloshman brought up Travis getting pissed when they broke the story about Rihanna he says I broke the news about him and Rihanna which they told me not to do of course perfect journalism thing to do right apparently La Puma our boy Joe Le Puma, a complex editor, told me, uh, oh, the guy that puts his hands like that when he talks to people in sneaker shopping, isn't it? Eh? Bit of a weapon, but hey, uh, he told me um, that was, told me that, told me, told me was that it hurt Complex's relationship with Travis. Okay. Him saying, okay, I guess that. Um, it says here, it continues. This is in 2015, 16, I wrote this, but apparently for the next couple of years, he would complain about the, that. Jesus. 
then things got a little bit shady when Stoshman added, it's not because he's like, don't tell anybody I'm smashing Rihanna. It's because Rihanna's like, don't tell anyone that I'm smashing Travis Scott. Ouch. <laughs> it's probably, it's, it's obviously embarrassing as fuck. That is madness, man. Imagine Rihanna being embarrassed about smashing <laughs> Travis Scott. I mentioned it before to my friend, like, you know, Rihanna tra treated Travis Scott like she's Lizzo or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, like wow like the actual the actual gumption on this woman took this place but hey it's what it is and i guess if you're travis you might say i got the last laugh you know i dated kylie after that back to back that's a pretty good run of, of females to be associated with and want to have you know uh be the mother of your child i'm pretty sure he's happy with that um how things worked out in that case but god almighty rihanna absolutely brutal and then you know then she goes out gallivanting around with asap rocky who she wasn't ashamed about being pictured with Eesh. it is what it is isn't it um I don't think it's a bad thing. I guess if you're ugly, just lean into it, innit, really, innit? I think. that I, I guess there's nothing worse than those kind of... I think Wale probably has that kind of energy, innit? Where he kind of... I, I would love to have that kind of self-confidence that Wale has because Wale carries himself like he looks like Tyson Beckford, innit? He really thinks he's like a, you know, a ting. Do you know what I mean? So I guess... It's, I guess if you've got that kind of energy, you have to keep it up at all times, right? You can't let anyone see a chick in your armor. You have to always kind of carry yourself like you're six two, light skin with like green eyes. You know what I mean, you have to always kind of go for it. The moment someone sees a chick in your armor and sees that you've kind of doubting yourself, that's when they kind of go for it. But I guess Travis is obvious to see that he might be a bit socially awkward and a little bit, you know, whatever it may be called, uh, introvert. I don't know. There's, you know, you, you you could see him being a little bit self-conscious about the way he looks based on how he doesn't want people to take pictures of his face and shit. It could, could be based upon the mystique thing, but it's probably because he doesn't like how his face looks on pictures, right? And how they put, always got him in those weird angles and he kind of looks like his face. And the people fuck up, fuck at him a lot because they do that elongated face thing and they drag his face a bit, which is a bit mean. And it's interesting too, because this is a funny story, but imagine if this was the other way around. Imagine if Rihanna didn't look like Rihanna and she had some, you know, whatever, some um, facial deficiencies. And Travis Scott would have said this about her behind the scenes. Ooh, -hoo! imagine the outrage online if that would happen. But instead, we're all laughing at Travis because, you know, there is a double standard. And the quicker we realize double standards do exist, the sooner we can move on as a society.